Okay, I admit it. I don't like mathematics. But I do like arithmetic because you can do a lot of things with simple mathematics or arithmetic. So I had a pretty good internet friend who died recently. And as a tribute to him, he was an Australian. Uh, another Australian made a sticker that looked like this. His handle was half cup. And he always talked about quality shed time. A shed's a um, garage or a shop in Australia. So he made this sticker up and I thought, you know, I'd like to make a few castings out of that sticker. And whole half cup was a pretty good guy and pretty kind to everybody, but he's also a bit of a perfectionist. So I want to make a good job of casting it. So this is 3D printed. I've prepared it a little bit so it'll cast. But that's pretty big and pretty thin, and I don't want to screw up the edge with a big gate coming in and I really don't want a big gate all over the back because I want to put some words on the back so how do I cast that I decided the best thing is to try to see what Shvoronov might have done I don't know if that's how you pronounce it C-H-V-O-R-I-N-O-V he was ahead of his time, calculated cooling times, as well as designing for progressive cooling in castings. Shvoronov used a modulus. His modulus was area, or volume divided by area. So if you've got a cube, all those sides are identically equal, regardless how I draw it. With a side of A, then the volume equals A times A times A, or A cubed. And the area equals A times A times 6. You got one, two, three, and then on the back side, four, five, six sides. So if you say the modulus equals the volume divided by the area, that equals A times A times A divided by A times A times six. Well, that's pretty easy to see that the modulus is one-sixth of the side A. All right. I think I can calculate that for any cube I come along with. Now, what about a cylinder? A cylinder, let's say that we have a cylinder that is... Uh, A in diameter times A height. So that's kind of a square cylinder. So the volume, the volume of a cylinder is the area of the top, which is going to be equal to pi times a squared over 4. So that times a equals pi times a cubed over 4. So what's the area? Well, the area equals 
pi a squared over 4. That's the area of the top times 2. So that's pi a squared over 2 plus the circumference is pi a times a. So the volume pi a cubed over 4, the modulus then is going to be pi a cubed over 4 all divided by pi a squared over 2 plus pi a squared. So let's work through that. This is one and a half pi a squared divided into pi a cubed over four. Well, pretty soon you can see you can get rid of pi a squared, so this just becomes A. So this is equal to A over 4 divided by, instead of uh, 1 and a half, let's call this 3 halves. And that's also equal to 2 a over 12. That's a little bit of algebra there. You can get your kid to help you with that if, if you're not familiar with algebra. But that's 2a over 12. So the modulus of this square cylinder equals a over 6. Funniest thing a over 6, that's the same as a cube. Now it gets simpler, if you stay with me until here. A rectangular bar. Okay. different dimensions. Let's call them A, B, and C. Well, the volume equals A times B times C, and the area equals A times B, that's the end, times 2, plus A times C, that's the side, A times C times 2 plus the top and the bottom, B times C times 2. All right, so you put all that together in the modulus. That worked out good. A times B times C divided by 2 times A times B plus A times C plus B times C. All right, so we can do that arithmetic real easy on a rectangle. Now, if you've got a real long bar, And you're not worried about, you know, it's so long that you're not thinking about the ends. The ends start to get kind of insignificant. Then what you've really got is A and B. And you just take a segment out of the middle of it that's 
one inch long, one centimeter long, one foot long, one meter long, whatever. So then the long bar, the volume equals of any piece equals A times B times one, and the area equals A plus B times two. Okay, that's A plus B times two. Get you all the way around it, and then times one for the length. So then the modulus of a long bar is A times B divided by A plus B times 2. Well, that's really easy to calculate. The width and the height times each other, and the width and the height added together times 2. So if you have a localized area that you're worried about shrinkage, like you've got a, a T coming into it, you really can assume that it's a long bar and it makes for a real simple calculation. And of course, the modulus here is the same as modulus for the next inch, inch and next inch and that next inch. All a long bar, since you're not worried about cooling out the ends, it's cooling only outside so you can use a easy equation like this. Now the other thing that we use a lot is a cylinder. That's not square. So let's look at a cylinder that has a um, radius r and a height h. The modulus for that cylinder equals the radius times the height divided by two times the radius plus the height. That looks pretty familiar with some of the other equations. But for a cylinder, then if you want to substitute a radius that equals to one half h, so it makes it a square one, then you'll find out you come out with the same equation as we did for a square cylinder or cube, and that's one sixth h. So almost done with this. Next thing that we use quite a bit in casting is a hollow cylinder. I draw this manually because my uh, drafting skills aren't as good as my manual drawing skills. So you got a roll of toilet paper. And what you're worried about with a roll of toilet paper is the thickness of the paper. And we'll call it A. And then let's call this H. So the modulus, without working through all the arithmetic, the modulus equals A times H divided by 2 A plus H. Amazingly similar formulas. So, now I went through all that to say this. So I've got a cylinder here that's 2 and 3 eighths in diameter. So the diameter equals 2 and 3 eighths. And it is right at 1 half inch thick. Okay, so I told you the modulus for a cylinder was R times the height divided by 2 times R plus a height. Okay, the modulus is the radius times the height. 
divided by two times the radius plus the height. So if the diameter equals 2.375, 2 and 3 eighths, then the radius equals 1.188, 1 and 3 sixteenths, and the height equals 0 0.5. So R times H equals 1.188 times 0.5 equals 0 0.594. It's really going to be 9 sixteenths. And 2 times R plus H R equals 1.188 plus 0.5 equals 1.688 times 2 equals 3.376. So if we take 0.594 and divide by 3.376, we get a modulus of 0 0.175. 0.18 okay now this is a runner that I had from old casting and I really thought when I started this I thought okay maybe something um, a half inch thick or three eighths thick yeah, probably three eighths thick by one half inch wide would make a nice rectangular runner. And let's let's say we're going to make it two inches long. So let's get the numbers for a rectangle. The volume is going to be ABC. So the volume equals well. 2 times 1 half is pretty tough arithmetic. Let's call that 1 times 3 eighths. The volume equals 3 eighths cubic inches. Now what's the area? If it's half wide, and I've, I'm, I'm not going to count the top because the top's going to be running under the uh, pattern and it's going to be running under a riser outside. We better draw it. 3 inch thick and half inch wide. Okay. So it'll be 3 8 times 2 for the sides times 2. And half times 2 for the bottom. plus 3 eighths times 1 half times 2, which is still going to be 3 eighths. So the total area, 3 eighths times 4, is 1 and a half plus 1 plus 3 eighths times half times 2 is 0 0.375. So 1 and a half plus 1 plus 0 0.375 equals an area of 2.875. And the volume equals 375. So... 0.375 divided by 2.875 is a modulus of 0 0.13. Now, 0 0.13 is quite a bit less than 0 0.18. So I found this piece and it's about two and a quarter long. It's about three quarter wide. I'm sorry, it's about five eighths wide. 
and three quarter high. So I better draw that. Five eighths wide, three quarter high. and two and three eighths long. Okay, so if we look at the area is gonna be equal to five eighths by two and three eighths plus three quarters by two and three eighths times two plus Five eighths times three quarters times two. So five eighths times two and three eighths is one point. Four eight plus three quarter, you don't start with a three, times two point three seven five times two equals three point five six plus point six two five times 0.75 times 2 equals 0.9375 plus 3.56 plus 1.48 equals 5.98 square inches. And the volume is 0.625 times 2.375 times 0.75 equals 1.11. So the volume equals 1.11, and the modulus equals the volume over the area of 5.98. That equals 0.1. Eight six. Okay, we had point one eight. Here we have point one eight six. We really ought to have more than point one eight. But I figured this was close enough; it was worth a try, because the hot metal is going to be flowing through it, getting into a colder pattern. And then this is a basin at the bottom of a sprue that I used to use. I don't use that anymore, but I use it for blind risers quite a bit. It's inch and a quarter by a radius of one. So the same modulus of a cylinder Radius equals one. The height is one and a quarter. So we've got M equals radius times the height, which will be 1.25 divided by two times the radius plus the height, which will be 2.25. So that'll be 1.25 divided by 4.5. So it has a modulus of 0 0.28. So I'm going to cast it like this. 
and I'm sure that this has enough modulus to feed. I'm hoping that feeding this and keeping the flow moving, this won't shrink. Okay, that's a big gate that I put in. Based on Chernoff's rule. That's how I got through that without pronouncing it. This is big flap, riser over here, blind riser. It looks to me like it failed. Close, but no cigar. We got a little bit of shrinkage. Well, maybe not. Maybe that's sand. Okay, I'll have to put a straight edge on it. Can you see that? I'm not seeing much of any shrinkage. All because of a big gate. Maybe it's too big, but it was big enough. If it was half that deep, it's still just much trouble to cut it off. <laughs> 